Hi guys, it's Victoria and it's time to do my June TBR. June I'm very excited about because as of Friday, of this Friday, the 7th, I will be on summer break. I almost said spring break. Nope. It's summer break, which is so much better than spring break. And so that means I will have June and July off of work. Now, June is uh, definitely a lot more open than July. July I have a lot of traveling and things planned and I'm actually teaching a summer camp too in July, so I'll be a lot busier. So June is kind of my ambitious TBR month. Uh, I mean, they're always ambitious, let's be honest. But this month, I actually feel like I can achieve my ambitions. Hopefully, we'll see. The first book that I am planning on finishing in the month of June is one I'm already in the middle of, and that is Descendant of the Crane by Joan Joanne He. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. This is a new release. This came out uh, in April, I believe. On my channel, one of my goals this year was to read a new release every month, and I'm a little bit behind on that goal because this was for April. I was supposed to read it in April, but it is now June. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. So, I'm behind, which we'll talk about in a second, but um, I had really had high hopes for this one, but halfway through and it's pretty slow and I don't mind slow books but this feels like maybe slow in a not so good way but I don't know I don't want to judge it yet but I am halfway through um, this I had some misconceptions about I thought this was a fantasy book more or less it, and it is technically a YA fantasy however this is a lot more um, actually murder mystery and court trial than it is fantasy. The fantasy in this book plays a very small element, or at least so far. Maybe that will become bigger, which I don't mind. It's just that I didn't expect it. And so um, I feel like this has kind of been a bumpy ride read for me so far. But this book follows Queen Hesina, and she is a 16-year-old who has had power thrust upon her through her circumstances, her father passed away. She really believes that her father was murdered and he did not just die. And so she is on a mission to find his killer. And there's a court trial and there's also these other kingdoms that um, are trying to take advantage of her power and even in her own political sphere, um, you know, she's trying to figure out who she can trust and who she can't. So there's, a lot going on but at the same time it feels like nothing's happening so far <laughs> I'm hoping that picks up a little bit more and that changes but yeah so Descendant of the Crane we're gonna finish this uh, very soon hopefully this week now speaking of my new release goal I'm behind and so I'm still needing to read my May pick which I decided to get the bride test by Helen Huang and I remember seeing the kiss quotient last year all over booktube that was I think her debut novel and everybody just loved it raved about it I heard like no bad things about it and so she came out with another book this year and I decided to pick it up so I'm hoping to get to this this month this follows a autistic young man and he is Vietnamese and his mom basically tries to set him up kind of arranged marriage style and she brings a young Vietnamese girl to America for him to marry. This girl who comes to America you know, tries to woo him because she actually wants to be married and come to America and Kai is not so much or I'm not really sure. That's where our drama unfolds. And so I'm hoping this is good. Honestly, this may be my first romance book I've ever read. I don't think I've ever read like a true romance. I've read contemporary, but not a very romance centered book. And so I'm a little nervous. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but we're gonna find out. I figure this one might be a, a good one to start with because this author is so loved in the community and um, very popular right now. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm a little. A little nervous and then to finally catch up with 
my plan of reading a new release every month, I'm going to be picking up Recursion by Blake Crouch. And it hasn't come out yet. It's released on June 11th. So I'm hoping I can finish those two books before June 11th and then I'll have Recursion and I'll be able to just focus on that and then I'll be all caught up with my um, new releases. I decided to give this book a shot because Emily Fox is one of my favorite booktubers and she has raved about Blake Crouch. Um, and I think I saw a review of her, yeah, I think she read this one too and liked it a lot. So I have high hopes for this one. This is a sci-fi thriller and I don't know much about the plot other than it has to do with something about memory. There's like a conspiracy to um, plant memories into people's brains that are not theirs. But I have high hopes for this. I know his book Dark Matter was uh, really highly regarded and I've seen a lot of good reviews for that. So we're gonna venture into a sci-fi thriller which I'm excited about and once I'm all caught up with my new releases I need to also finish some series slash continue some series that I've been in the middle of for quite some time now. One of those being the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I'm on book two. I decided to pick up The Lightning Thief a couple months ago when I was on I think spring break and loved it. Didn't expect to like it so much, but really loved it. I gave it, gave it five stars. It was so much fun. And so I'm hoping the second book doesn't let me down and we have a great time with this too. I have a feeling I'm going to have a really good time with this whole series. This series is middle grade and it revolves heavily around Greek gods and different Greek myths and legends. And it's just a really fun mashup. And so I'm really excited to pick up uh, where we left off in book one and keep following Percy Jackson. Now this next one is a series that I'm a little bit embarrassed about because I have probably had this book on my TBR for the past three months and that is just that is just unacceptable and so that is the Wizard of Earthsea series. I'm on book three and I don't know I just keeps getting pushed back because I just you know continually didn't have time for it but Definitely making this a priority in June because I don't want to fall too behind in this. There are six books in the series, so it's not that big of a series. It's I could finish this very easily, I'm sure. But book three follows Ged, who is kind of our main character throughout the series so far. Um, book two kind of stepped away from his perspective though, when we had a female perspective. And so I think we're going back to Ged's perspective. I could be wrong about that, but all I know about this is um, for some reason the wizards are losing their magic and Ged is going to figure out why and hopefully stop it from happening. And this series is by Ursula K. Le Guin. I think I forgot to say that, but um, she is a more classic fantasy writer. I believe she passed away fairly recently in the last couple years. I'm really loving these. Both book one and book two have been five stars for me, so I don't know why I've been stuck on this one, but we need to continue on because I'm having a really good time reading these. The next one is also a series that I fell behind on and um, honestly just kind of forgot about and I think I forgot a lot of the plot and what happened in the previous book. I can't remember the previous volume of this at all, but that is Fruits Basket. I'm on volume four and I kind of forgot I was reading this. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. It's kind of, it's cute and fluffy, but I think it's just not like grabbing me so that I immediately buy the next book. But, um, we're going to jump back into this because it's summertime and I'm in the mood for a cute and fluffy. And then I have another series that I'm in the middle of, of course, all of these are series. And I will actually be done with this one though, after I read this book, which is Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. I have been having a lot of fun reading The Hunger Games. I think that it's an excellent series. I can see why everyone loves it and it's so highly rated. And uh, I'm hoping Mockingjay is good. I've heard some mixed things about people not being super happy with the ending, but they've been so strong so far. So unless she really does something catastrophic to the series, I don't think I'm gonna hate it. And book two really left off on a cliffhanger, so I'm, I'm just dying to know what's going to happen. I will be very happy to have at least one series finished that I'm in the middle of, because I don't know, I don't know how I ended up 
with so many series that I was in the middle of. And finally, this is my reread of the month. I am rereading a book every month this year as well, which has been going very well and I'm right on track. But I've been reading The Chronicles of Narnia. So I'm on book six, which is The Silver Chair. I remember nothing about this book from childhood. So the plot and everything is, is just, it's going to be like brand new to me. Like it's not even a reread. But this follows our main character, Eustace. Eustace we meet in book five, but I think in this one he's a little more grown up, a little bit more mature, hopefully less annoying. Because in book five, he's pretty annoying for a good chunk of the book. I think that's everything I have planned for the month of June. I actually just finished a book on like June 1st or June 2nd also. I finished, um, where did I put it? Oh well. I finished Gemina, which is the second book in the Illuminae Files, and loved that. So that is not on this TBR because I already finished it. So we'll see if Obsidio makes it into my June TBR. Let me know what you're reading in the month of June. Um, I keep seeing everyone's ridiculous book hauls from Book Expo and Book Con, so I'm sure there's gonna be lots of reviews about cool, exciting new books, and um, I would love to know what you're planning on reading this month. Also, do you get a lot of reading done in the summer like I do, or are summers super busy for you and you can't barely read at all? Because I think that's how my July is gonna be, but my June should have some some free reign and I can just lay on the beach and read. I hope you're all having a great day or night wherever you are and thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here, if you would like to see more from me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!